Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I finally am getting my voice back a little bit more. I think I'm still going to do a voiceover today so that I don't have to keep talking because I feel like the more and more I talk, the less and less I will have a voice. You know what I mean? I am better. I've been on an oral antibiotic for five days, six days now. So the reason I kind of lost my voice is because of all the really, really hard coughing and I'm on an inhaled antibiotic as well. So both of those combined has just made me, Ursula took my voice. So I'm trying to get it back. I got jokes. So I have an idea for this eye. I am gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette again. It's a, it's a good palette, why not, you know? So if you would like to see what I come up with, then keep on watching. I'm gonna jump right in and use the shade Creamsicle on a fluffy brush and just start to place that basically in my crease and right above my crease. I like to start with a padding motion with any of my eyeshadows just to lay the pigment down and then I like to go back in and just start blending in circular motions just so everything's pretty seamless without losing the pigmentation of the eyeshadows. I just find that this works out really well. The next shade I'm using is called Hunts, which is a beautiful orange color. And let me tell you, this shade is pigmented. So I'm taking that right into my crease and I wanna make sure that I'm not taking it up past where that yellow shade is because I just want everything to kind of flow. I'm basically going for like a sunset eye here. So once I start patting that in my crease and a little bit above my crease, I just make sure to pat it on and then again go in and blend it just so it's really, really pigmented. Once I get that shade to the vibrancy that I want, I go in with a really big fluffy brush and just blend those two together. I'm not wanting the two colors to be completely blended in together. I still want you to see that yellow shade. So I just kind of take my time and this is a, just a clean fluffy brush. There's no product on it. I don't know about you, but whenever I have a crazy looking eye like this, it just never looks good in the beginning. And I always question myself, like, what the hell am I doing? This looks terrible, but it works out. I trust, just trust me, it works out. This shade called Twerk is what I wanted to do a winged liner with. I actually did it off camera because I need to do my winged liner off camera, but it wasn't giving me the blue that I was going for. I really wanted a very vibrant blue liner. So after I took a makeup wipe and cleaned up the eyeshadow, I actually wasn't feeling that because it gave more of a purple vibe. So I dipped into the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette and used that shade Dahlia and it gave me the blue that I wanted. For lashes today, I'm using the Kiss Blowout Lashes. This is in the style Pixie. I've never used these before, but I really like them. They are really, really pretty. Now for the face, after I do something really weird here, <laughs> I start to spray my beauty blender with the Mari Badescu Rose Water Spray. And yeah, the NARS Longwear Foundation was not a huge fan of. I got really, really oily. I'll link my review video down below, but I have figured out a way to make it work to where it, it looks pretty. It'll get a little dewy, but I will not look like a grease ball like I did the first couple of times that I use this foundation. So I will show you my trick when I get there. For concealer, I have been stuck on using the Maybelline Age Rewind. This was 
a concealer I used constantly when it first came out years and years and years ago. And then I kind of just started trying a whole bunch of new other concealers and fell in love with a whole bunch of different ones. But now I am back on the train of loving this concealer. If you haven't tried it, you should. I'm telling you, it is bomb. The Airspun. The Airspun is the only powder I can use that will keep the NARS foundation in check. Keep my oil at bay. It's the only powder I can use with this foundation and it will look beautiful all night. I'm telling you, it's it's so affordable at Walmart. I think it's like, I don't know, four or five, six bucks, something like that. And it is a great drugstore powder. After setting my whole face with the powder, and yes, I am baking a little bit with this powder just to keep the oil under control for a longer period of time, I'm gonna go in with the shade Hilster and just start placing that on my lower lash line with a pencil brush. Then I'm gonna go back into Hunts and just place that right where I placed the other shade and blend those two together and smoke it out. I want this to be very, very dramatic and very, very smoky. And these shades really, really bring out my blue eyes. And finally, I'm going to take the shade Queen and highlight my inner corner. Now I'm going back to the face and dusting off all of that bake. For bronzer, and I guess to contour my face, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This bronzer is smells amazing. I just love bronzers that have like a food smell, <laughs> just like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I love that bronzer, but I've been very attached to this bronzer lately. The only bad part about that Airspun powder is that it gets <laughs> everywhere. But for blush, I'm gonna use the Tarte Color Wheel Palette and just take this bottom shade. It, really, I like to mix a lot of these blushes together and just pop it on the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm gonna use one of my drugstore favorites. This is a Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. I personally love to put highlighter just on my cheekbones, above my eyebrows, on the tip of my nose, and the bridge of my nose. I will also put a little bit on my cupid's bow. Oh, and we can't forget the brow bone. Have to highlight that brow bone. And for lips, I'm going to start lining them with the Rimmel's Lip Pencil and Coffee Bean. Once I get my lips lined, I like to just go ahead and take my finger and blend it around my lips just so it's not so harsh and that the lip liner is kind of blended in with my lips before I go in with anything else. And what I'm going to use today to go over it is the NYX, I think it's the NYX Lingerie. It's their liquid lipstick in the shade Exotic. After that, the look is complete. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.